Hello, hello everyone. Sigita here. Yes, I am here. I am kind of back. Kind of back. I skipped a few days uh, due to Easter. And uh, yeah, that's I was making as well slowly some uh, orders and uh, uh, one of the covers where I have to make recycled paper that's for my cave journal my cover didn't come out right so i have to i had to remake it but you know that things how it goes anyway what's today most of you really liked uh, these painted papers and uh, some of you were asking for some video so that's i thought i will do only problem is why i didn't do that straight away was just because I have such a small space and when I put on a paint first layer should supposed to dry so there is some drying time involved as well uh, we will see how it goes maybe I will dry with my with my drying tool a little bit so we'll see how it goes idea actually is not mine idea comes from Kasia, who is Everything Art UK, um, she has some free little short course, how she does it. I will put link down below in the description box and she is on Instagram. When you will go to her profile, you have to, I think, choose free to two, something 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 free but when you go yeah on her um, instagram uh, profile you will understand where you have to go next anyway first what you do you choose different papers as you can see here i this is coffee stained um uh, uh, dictionary paper this is a uh, tissue paper this is uh, like a uh, I don't know what it is. It's like grungy. It's not baking paper. It was in an um, old um, album. Coffee stained uh, check paper. Again, again. Tissue papers, lined paper, coffee stained, book page, coffee stained. I just, you know, piece of, of um, craft paper, ordinary coffee stained uh, print paper some envelopes allow that really nice came out so where where can we use these simply just for a uh, background for journal for background can be page already just like that can be for a background you can put still things on like paint a little bit of white or just soft white put some picture on like put some oh that's too much put I, I, i'm just holding it's not like you know it's not comfortable really like you know some kind of uh, little collage on you know and it's ready page is ready if you or you can take an anterior and make a collages you can use them for little snippets so it's for, for a lot of things you can use them so and then i said okay i will try how this all works out maybe i can show you how i did it Actually, I did pretty the same as Akasha did, but anyway. So what you will need? Different papers. Different papers. Here I have like um, hundred like uh, from old uh, like account book or something like that. Uh, craft paper, tissue paper, white check, dictionary. I really like dictionary papers. A coffee stain, piece of coffee stain. This I took as well. Then I took paper I don't like, so I can re like recycle in a in a way, you know, we make a, a way I like it. These are like uh, uh, craft papers, kind of craft papers from old um uh what's his name folder. 
and just ordinary ordinary coffee stain print paper uh, I'm using spatula I am using brush dry dry brush I will be using sprays uh, I will be using different acrylic paint and of office oh, obviously black without black you can't make grunge yeah I will be making more grungier than she probably but anyway is yeah this is a very similar techniques and then I will be using stencils as well that all I will be using and you will that it go step by step so first what I do I have a look on a time on everything right first what I do you just I um, I forgot to take water on different brows oh I know what I forgot to take briar that's the most important that's what I'm thinking what's missing briar is missing yes sorry guys briar right i'm putting right on a prayer and i'm doing like that on different papers <laughs> this comes out already fine so that's done let's dry let's do this one and these are going to dry already oh yeah like this see how it nicely comes out Black I'm using as a base for all this and if I don't like it you can always cover or if you want some more black you can uh, you can afterwards add some so there is no you know there is no rules you just do it you know, when you really want to do some messy work, you can do that. Too much. Let's see. I like on dictionary pages. That's really good. And see, now I will try to make them uh, quick enough but at the same time they still need little they do dry fast quick fast but anyway they still need uh, some drying time am i going to use black on everyone every page yes i will because i like it and and uh, I'm really rolling like you know like this pressure I, this, well, this won't be as black because after that so I can put on orange or I can put on white so there is no problem with that I am out of screen so to do that black first I don't know how many parts guys this is going to take and as well when when Kasha shows her table you know you can see a lot what she's doing ah uh, is like nicer look on the papers but never mind I'm trying this way and you will see what, what I'm doing anyway so okay a few more papers okay nothing comes out I can do straight on a page as well she's doing the right on a page and I'm not really right okay now let's 
start from this side and what I can do I can add some more paint uh, yeah I can maybe add some more paint somewhere just by just by spreading like that and go over and see that black will disappear as I'm saying you don't have to really work you don't have to use black but because mostly as you know I do grunge I uh, like to do that black and if you think it's too little you just take to put some more that's right time has to a few few minutes in a in a uh, part two, obviously I will have to join together, but afterwards I will not like do all paper. I will do just maybe few paper for you to exactly see how I finish them. And see how it goes. Really not I like that. And now you can stamp on it. I can stencil on it, I can uh, collage on it, I can put some um, decoupage on. A lot of things to do on this. So let's do some... What's this? Lemon? Okay. Why is that too much? If it's too much, I can... And see how nice that paper I died I didn't like. It came actually out really nice. And if it stuck together, really it doesn't really matter. It come it come came out a nice tear. black already is almost gone here and I want to do some orange dots maybe if there is left I think that's nothing yeah I love this orange I actually I ordered them from Amazon as I was actually gift from a friend of mine when I still was in the UK Is that? Is that? <laughs> I just want to get my orange out. What else I can do? See, I got my orange. In life, I actually don't like orange color. I don't know why I'm so happy about orange here. Maybe because it's, uh, it's black. Oh, you want to see some orange? Let's put some orange. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you know, when you smear it out, after it's brayer, it just comes out quite nice. So don't be afraid of doing that. This is fine. You can just enjoy your colors. Oh, and look, look at the paper, how it came out. Really nice. It's already nice background paper or for collages. Perfect. So you can use up all your all your um, papers you didn't like it sometimes. Let's see, we can do that way. 
All right, let's have a look on time. Oh, a few more minutes. That's good. All right. Got a few colors. Now what we do... Uh, now it's coming out. I will finish uh, other papers later. Alright, now what we can do, we can use a stencil. So we are taking stencil, whatever part, wherever you like, without any overthinking, where is right, where is wrong. And you just spritz it down. And this is how it goes. And then I take it over. I don't want to waste that, and I put on there. It is not enough. I can spritz more. Like that. Uh, this spray is from uh, made with water from Lindy's uh, Magicals. Oh look, really nice. Actually, I want to take pink as well. All in these magicals, do I have it? Sorry, guys, I think I catch the camera. No, I don't. I, uh, all in this, this one, but this is not, um, this is purple, but the same brand, Lindy's Magicals, okay, Magical Shaker, just in teal. I was uh, making that, but I want some pink. Look at that! And now we can press some. And that, what happens, happens. This is, you know, look at that. This is really fine. Come over here. Can you actually see? Yeah. Right, one minute, guys, is left for me. I am switching out. And switching back. So I'm switching back. Let's continue. Right, look, it's all dry while I um, was uploading first, first, <laughs> first uh, part to my computer. So yeah, really nice. I love it. And actually, I was kind of I don't know where I got this picture. It's just on my table. I was like playing around with like. Um, with like my you know so just uh, what is on my table here and I really like that look guys oh, that is a little and if I put little flower on here I, I absolutely love it you know it is just it's just amazing amazing I have your word guys amazing <laughs> Actually, it's very popular in my country. We, we don't obviously speak English, but if something happens, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, yes, so this is so cool. I can add some pink. Whatever way. Some pink. And like that. And as well, it's just too long. But as well, look how great great page turns out just like that just like i'm just looking for something else i can i can oh yeah okay i can do that see 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 guys this is how it works so enjoy just color and just you know spritz all your spritz all your papers okay i don't want to stop i want to do some more with that um with stencil I actually have to take... Oh, that's not bad at all. Uh, because I want to show you another thing I was doing. Okay. Mm. There is another stencil. I, I took two, right? Oh, I actually got what I wanted to show you. I made my own stencils. Can you believe it? Look, can you see? Can you see? Here, like that. And like that. I did it myself. 
these are going to be my stencils let's just try how that works with sprays right. okay not bad at all i kind of like it i'll put just that on just will be some mess but you know not to lose the color we do that mm -hmm. I can't see but it's some 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 kind of yeah but this is not bad and even this is fine yeah um let's do this one I will do that way for, for both of oh, never mind whatever way is fine there is no right or wrong and let's take down <laughs> look how nice is that and then I can just dab over to another way that's too pink dab over another page like that this is very crazy this is really pink but not like that but anyway i can put some white on and still some black on not worried about worried about design right okay let's go to our next tool which is circles a little circles i was making with just this middle section of uh, from washi tape so what i did with a black acrylic just dabbing down and just you know rolling through and just making some some marks like that and that's all what I was doing I actually um, um, have like three very colorful ladies who inspired me to work with color so much as this uh, one is I think um, I was already telling you and I put link down below in a previous uh, in a previous videos, but I will repeat it. That's Laura Horn from uh, Laura Horn Art. Don't worry to uh, what's his name to understand my pronunciation. I will put links down below. She is as well on Instagram. I will put down uh, links down below in the description box. So please don't worry about that so that's one first lady i really I have been following for like years i really love her colorful art and that is robin marie smith as well i will put down a link below and then now is kasia from everything art uk uh, so for these three ladies i'm really like following lately and I really love things she they are doing with color. And it doesn't uh, it doesn't mean I have to like repeat everything they do, but I can take some ideas and incorporate in in our uh, journals, right? Oh, I love this. Okay, guys, uh, what's the time? Okay, and. Um, I just don't want to waste this black. I put quite a lot on. I uh, otherwise it will um go. Where else did I put on all? Oh, this one. It's just a few more, and then we turning to our next, which is. I am taking a brush, dry brush. 
and I am taking a uh, gesso. I'm not taking uh, uh, you can take a white acrylic, but I will take gesso. I have my own homemade, handmade, no homemade, my own homemade gesso. Uh, and that's too much. I didn't dab it down and this is what happened. And now I quickly need whatever paper to dab it down. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, 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 here. Yeah. Otherwise it's just too much. And then we can just dry brush a little bit over and to make little marks white or we can dry brush over black not to be as black as uh, it is or we can just do can make white marks but they are dry brushed like that I will show you here. Just like that. I don't want to do a lot because I like this. I can do here. I can do here. See how it goes slightly over like like um, fog it makes that um, color foggier see how it goes like that mm -hmm. oh that crazy pink let's take that crazy pink we have to turn a little bit down and this is a way we can do it I want these rings to be seen through and afterwards I still can put color on it doesn't mean it have to be like that or I can stamp or I can stencil something else on you know afterwards you can do a lot of things so this is guys how we again You have to dip it first before you put on a paper. Um, like like dip that color paint off a little bit. Otherwise it will go like blob of paint and that's it. It's not really nice. This is too okay, I will do this one. A lot if you don't want to do this step you don't have to you know I'm just kind of showing how I did these previous uh, papers let's do on this one seem to need much but and then I want to put some stamps on And but you know what I want? Just a little bit of this crazy pink spray. Where is it? Oh, here. Just slightly over. Oh, look. I was right. Something more color. Right. Okay. actually goes quite well I didn't think it's gonna be like that okay so and now this, this is it we all done this is what I was doing and now you can continue your way as I said you can use whatever you way you like you can do some stamping on so I will just show you 
what came out. Oh, this one as well. I didn't put white on that. There's no white either. And this is my, I think, most loved, loved piece. Turned out great. This is just mostly black and white. This is not bad either. This I have to finish. But I can use a leave like that as well. Nothing really, you know. I can leave these like that. Don't have to put white on. And I can... What I can do... Um, just looking at time. I can use some stamping. I'm looking for some stamps. I have a really nice owl. I received in a happy mail. And I want to start it on. If I, uh, if I find it. I think. Right. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Right. Where is my block? Oh, I don't have the stuff. I see. Two of them even. Okay. Let's put that over here. Now let's see how it comes out. Oh, that's not bad. I like it. Look. Let's put on here. So as is, you can see, I look, that's nice, and I can tear it out and use already for something else, and I can use some flowers, if you like, see how it works out, and I can just tear it off and use this as a page, and to do some um, tum, tum, tum. some page decoration like I'm using the same uh, because there's nothing else close to me I like that look <laughs> I just love it I, sh I should I think I should uh, leave it like that that's nice a uh, uh, journal cover as well why not just take that out and that's a journal cover not bad, right? Not bad at all. No. I like that better. Right, my lovelies. Another picture. Oh, this is this is uh, printed on white. Oh no, on coffee stained uh, print paper. Let's see how that works. And that works even better. Goes with that. That's not bad, but I like with this better. <laughs> Guys, I love it. That's too big. Yeah, of course, it's too big. <laughs> As this is how it works. See? This is how we embellish. Great! So guys, thank you so, so much. I do hope you have some uh, really nice painting ideas and ideas for your um, papers, for your pages, for your decorations. Uh, I'm coming up with journal using my pages. Yes, I will. And, uh, and see you very soon and I really want to use as well my stencils I just quickly show you these okay just on here oh, I have to put some more ink on a, in a black it's not really 
as bright as I want. So this is one. These are like my doodles, if you already recognize of one of my doodles. I like this as well. So I was uh, playing around. I don't really... Uh, I don't, I didn't really work out yet, oh this, look, how, uh, actually how it works, what I have to cut out and what not, and what exactly I can get, I'm like kind of still missing a point, uh, but I, um, I actually worked these ones out quite nice, and I cut it on ordinary, uh, this is like plastic envelope, you know, with little button you close. This is what I'm using for, because, uh, and look, these are my stencils. Uh, because um, five o'clock in the morning, nothing else I could get. And that idea suddenly, suddenly, out of nowhere, came to me five o'clock in the morning, and obviously I had to get out of bed to use it, to do it. So on, that was only available for me material. So I took that um, a plastic envelope with a button, I cut it open and I used that and actually it works out quite well. It could be a little bit thicker but it works. So guys, this is my news for today. I do hope you, <laughs> I do hope you enjoy your uh, rest of Easter and see you very soon with quite a colorful journal. Thank you my lovelies, bye!